Oh, you give me the oh shit, man. That's what I do afterwards. I still haven't took myself either. <laughs> <laughs> I just realised I was putting on. I've got extremely high pants today. I didn't mean to. It's being weird with Chris. No. I can make these reach my tits. Oh, does it stay like that? I've been sweatpants. Oh my god, look at it. Oh, you can't see it, look at, look at penis. Look at penis. Look at my penis. Don't want to. Look, Chris. I don't want to. It sticks. It looks quite big, though. <laughs> it looks quite big. Welcome back to the news where it's the weird and wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> As a time. Did you say you're the weird now, the wonderful? No, you're the Oh, weird. right. I was going to fucking say, how is this the wonderful? Um, That's why I did it. Yeah. Weird. Wonderful. I don't have to make my boobs come over, though. See that? Uh, yeah, um, we are serious news reporters. Please, we are we are very credible. Yeah, roll with it. <laughs> <laughs> roll with it. <laughs> oh shit! I thought your face was gonna still be in camera. Ah. Uh, we've got so, uh, another vet. Is that? Have you tilted that up? Look, it's just head. <laughs> it's just head. <laughs> oh, oh, edge of the table. Ooh, it hurt, Chris. It hurt. God, we are so awesome. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> <Stop being true. laughs> We've got holy shoes, Batman. Uh, without the Batman bit, uh, we've got horse. Uh, we've got Boeing seven thirty-seven. Seven thirty-seven. Yeah. And we've and I forgot. Apple. 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 Uh, the fruit or the company? Company. Oh, what conspiratorial things we're talking about. Your phone's dead. <laughs> it sounded like, uh, what's, what is it, 24? Doing it. Doing it. Kit is with your best shot, Chris. Okay. With your best shot. Oh, that is fucking sexy. <laughs> that is tidy like that. That is cute. I'll shag me. No, no. <laughs> Come on. Okay, right. Boeing 737. That is the aeroplane. That is an aeroplane. That is an aeroplane. Just to confirm, Boeing 37 is an aeroplane. A American plane. I don't know if it's American. No, but I think Boeing is British. Isn't is it, it British? No, I, I wasn't making this. I was just asking. I don't know. Anyhow, it's a plane. It's a plane. It's a fucking big plane. It's it's big. It's big. How big is it? Big. Laugh <laughs> <laughs> uh, then, you fucking bitch. It's quiet today. Yes. Boeing 737. Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> That's the news. Is in a committed relationship with a woman. Wait, what? Yeah. She has basically married a Boeing 737 who has been out of commission for the past five years. Oh, so is it in one of them graveyards, like the plane graveyards? Yeah. Been out of commission for the past five years. She decided to fail, fall in love with a plane and she's now married a plane. Uh, cool. It's weird how she could have that be legal, is it? I'm sure we, we did a thing where a woman you, you can marry married a train, train station, we, didn't she? Married a train station. We watched a document. We, well, I don't know why we watched a document, but we watched someone marry his car or kiss, making love to his oh, car. Oh, yeah, and his dad, yeah, and he said he, he makes love to it and that. And he put his, like, I don't know if he put his dick in the ex- he, he made love to it. Yeah. And apparently, didn't his dad have some sort of fetish as well? No, his dad was like, what the fuck? <laughs> so he was, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, it was mad. It was fucking mad. Um, so yeah, she, yeah, she married a plane, a big plane. At least, I suppose on the plus side, she can go inside it, as opposed to it going in, uh, inside her. Yeah, unless there's something small enough for Ollie to go inside her. So she probably just, go, yeah. I was going, I was going to go places there. Better yeah, not. No. Uh, we're already weird enough. Yeah. What? Yeah, thank you for that weird story, Chris. A woman has married a Boeing th- 737. A plane. A plane. A big plane. A big, big plane. A big plane. Yeah. Next story. What the fuck, Anna? Who's a big... What, why has that gone up? I don't 
no, no. Have you seen it? That is how. That is definitely. What the fuck? Your house is haunted. <laughs> I said the best joke ever. My mate's got a new house, right? My mate's got a new house. Brand new build. I says, at least you know it won't be haunted. Pure mint joke. Everybody laughed. For, for days. It was yesterday, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right, um, Apple are being sued. Uh, now, it's, that's not uncommon for a big company. Big companies are always getting sued. Yeah, they are. Left, right and centre. Yeah. But a bloke, uh, I assume this is American. I think it was. Right. Uh, we'll call him... Dave. Dave. Good shout. Dave is suing Apple because he has an, a, an app on his phone. Was it a game like Sims or some shit? Gay Coin. Oh, the game is called Gay Coin. He downloaded the app and it's made his avatar uh, into a same-sex relationship. And he's now turned gay. And he's saying he has turned gay because of this app on his iPhone. So he's suing Apple for turning him gay. I didn't realise it was Apple that decided the homosexuals of the world. No. I thought it was the Japanese uh, and Yaoi. Uh, the other Japanese turn people gay. Okay. Yeah, it's 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 always been the Asians, but mainly Japanese. Okay. Uh, Yaoi. Uh, <laughs> too much South Park. Um, yeah, quite literally. Stan's dad's like, "What's Yaoi?" It's like, oh, he rings up the Japanese thingy and Bass like, "Who's oh yeah? We, we told you were gay." He's like, "Oh, Yaoi." It's weird. Okay. Uh, but Tweak and Craig become gay because of Yowie art. They were never gay in the first place, but they are now gay because of Yowie. And his dad doesn't know how to treat him, so he keeps giving him money. He's like, here you go, send me some money. Because he's gay, he doesn't know how to do it. It's fucking mad. Um, but that's gone up again! Hasn't that gone up? It's moved. Hasn't that gone... <laughs> what the fuck? It's moved. <laughs> it, must, it must just be like really slippery. Like, oh, now there's two down! Uh, Apple, Apple is being sued by a guy for playing a game and it, it's turned him gay. He, he, mu he must have just been gay the whole time, but just want an excuse to blame someone because maybe he doesn't want to be gay, but he is gay. He can't have the bodily, what the body wants. If it wants a penis, it wants a penis. What, I don't get it. He's a fucking moron. Just be gay and enjoy it. You liked it, didn't you? No. Gobble, gobble, gobble. And, um, yeah, you look like a fucking, uh, what's his name? Ah, uh, the Adams family. Did it, did it. Faster. Is it Uncle Festia? Hark! It's moving. It's is it moving? Yeah, because I, I I'm I'm measuring the width of the picture to the top of the phone, and it's that's moved. Getting bigger. Because your, your phone hasn't got a case on, has it? No. So it it's be, never it's, it's never thingied at all. Oh, don't be freaking me out, Chris. House is haunted. Don't be freaking me out, please. Emma Gwe Gwe Fadi Zal. Emma Gwe Gwe Fadi Zal. Look. It is getting bigger. You can see more of the picture. It gets bigger when you touch it. Shut up. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the power of Christ compels you. Chris, say it with me, even though you'll probably want to be de de demonized. De possessed. Demonized. Possessed. Demonized. P uh, uh, no. DX. No. Uh, yeah, so fuck off, mate. You should be gay. It has proper moved. It has. Look at it. What the fuck? Even my phone's haunted or your house is haunted. It is not. You can see three quarters of Iron Man. Hi, have a beautiful time, ghost. Imagine it just sort of... Oh, I don't even want to start saying imagine mm -hmm. shit. We'll get to the next segment. Finish this. I can go upstairs and watch football where ghosts will never appear in football. They will. Ah, it's gone proper up. It's weird. Horse next. and Or... Um, Holy shit. Sonny's chippy. Sonny's chippy. <laughs> I don't know where I went there. Bear okay. in mind, this is a new tripod. It's a new tripod. That's yeah. Maybe why then? It's maybe why. Yeah. Dan's studying the the slidiness of the phone. Because so it is sitting there. Because it is sliding. Why is he sitting over there? I am going to discuss this next article. And this next article, people, is about a holy shoe. And then when I say a holy shoe, I mean Nike have teamed up. Oh, the priest. no. Yes. You can now buy Nike trainers. Yeah, it is. It is you can see it. You Carry can, on. You can now buy Nike trainers, Nike Airs. And if you know with Nike Airs, you've got the see-through bit at the bottom. The bubble. Yeah, yeah, that one. Well, now that is filled with holy water. Oh, you can fuck. buy these holy water Nike Airs for £2,500. Some trainers. What the fuck? <laughs> 
And it will just literally be, it will literally be water. just water. It's just water. Which will probably seep Another out priest at some point. Is fucking, what's that fucking in here? Yeah, Don't some know. pedos. Only for Catholic priests, Chris. Not all priests, just you Catholic ones. Water. <laughs> but yeah, you can now get holy water trainers. I'm like a cat. No, you're not. £2,500 for a bit of water in your trainers. <laughs> Give me a tenant and I'll pour water in your trainers. Do that, you just get a pair of trainers, walk in a river. They'll be wet for life, even the tops will be wet. Mm -hmm. If that's what you really want. If, yeah, if you want these trainers, they're on sale now. If you're in the desert though and you have no water, because their bubbles are relatively big, you might have had a shot glass full of water. You just like that little bit of there oomph, maybe what you need. There you go. Dreams are saved from me. If you're in the desert and you're wearing your... Uh, Holy trainers, I'm good. If you're wearing your holy trainers, they might just save your life one day. It might taste weird. Yeah, it'll all... But it'll uh, save your life. Water goes off. Does like it actually go off? Else, like everything else. Does it? Yeah. I had actually not... I actually had no idea. That water goes off. Um, How does it go off? Just chemicals and weird stains and shit. Tap water in it, aren't you? Well, so if I had a glass of tap water just laying there and I just left, left it, it would go... Yeah. Ooh, I didn't know that. Um, so, yeah. 2,500 quid for a pair of holy trainers. Nike Airs. I like Nike Airs, but I'm not paying two and a half grand for some trainers. They're fucking uh, 95 quid anyway at the minute, aren't they? Yeah, they have some weird water in. But then again, if I touch them, I'd probably, get, I'd probably like, combust. <sighs> I don't do that to you. So... Yeah. Horse next. Horse. And you're not going to like it. Uh, see, so that's what I mean. So you don't really know if it is a good story or a bad story. Well, because. Wait, it's something that I. Right, first of all, the first part's like, oh, that's really upsetting. That's me and I hate that. The second part's like, are you mental? Um, right, there's a lady would in you, America. Would you, would, you, would you eat me if I was to? <laughs> I, would, I would eat you. Not your penis, though. It would be a short meal. No, I'd taste like chicken. Uh, uh, I, mm, if I had to eat you, I would. Sorry, if you had to, then. Oh, yeah, don't get me wrong. I've got, I've got a bit of chug you could get right your teeth right into. You know what I mean? So you can have some tit. If you want some tit and I'm dead, you can you can have some. Imagine chewing on your mate's tit. Just, Kenny's a bit chewy, isn't he? <laughs> you first. No, I'm, I'm better raw. No. Yeah. No. Keep all like the, the bugger juice and that and that. some weird disease of eating human meat. Do you? Yeah. Is that why Hannibal Lecter's always like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the kicks. Okay. Uh, sorry, a lady <laughs> in America had a horse for 18 years. That's fucking awesome. One, I didn't realise actually horses had such a. What, what's the. Like, I don't know what the lifespan is on horses, but it's pretty good. 18 for an animal it's quite cool, I think. I don't like turtles live for fucking. I think millions. they're. Yeah. <laughs> millions, eons. But basically, this horse passed away, natural causes, uh, and upon its death, she she wasn't quite sure how to do it. Like Chris was saying to me, she was she didn't, it didn't feel right just putting him in the ground or cremating him or getting his stuff. She wanted to have a proper send off, and this animal that she had for eighteen years, she adores it, she loves it. So her obviously sound of mind decision was to uh, cook the little fucker and eat it. So I <laughs> think that smirk says it all. What like, what, like I love my dog, which I want to eat her. She'll taste the shit. She's old as fuck and she stinks. Um, yeah, but once you once you shave her and cook her, you, you, all that goes. No, I'm gonna wait till she gets rigor mortis and use her as some sort of like stand. <laughs> uh, wait for that. No, get okay, her stuff. I, I think. I mean, put sorry, coffee, Ellie. Put a coffee table <laughs> on top. <laughs> I don't mean to have this conversation though because I do really love you. But I, I think the best thing for you is is to uh, <laughs> make it a coffee table. <laughs> yeah, is to keep keep you around a bit. It, you know, it's, I can leave her on the front, scare off some like neighbours. Yeah. Oh, there's a dog, and she's just. I mean, I love you, girl. She, no wonder she hates being in videos. Every time I put her in a video, like in a box or whatever, I see her face. She's just pure because we talk about this in front of her. Who's listening to that? I don't know what that is. Spanish? No. Capula, pola, pola. Uh, there's music going on, so I don't know what it is, but a woman ate a horse 
uh, as a big farewell. Did she eat all of it? Floss the teeth with the hair. Shut the fuck up! It was called a mane, and uh, I don't know about the blossom, but she pretty much ate the whole thing. What the fuck? Like, I mean, most pet owners, it's horrible when your pet dies. It's <coughs> fucking gut wrenching. Yeah. My first thought isn't, oh, Suzanne, we can fucking eat for a week. You know what I mean? It's oh, for fuck's sake. Or burger or something. Or a kebab. <sighs> yeah, I don't, I don't know her logic. Because if anything, it's taking the piss out of it because now she's going to have to shit it out. She's turning her horse into a piece of shit. Yeah. You fucking. Better family. Yeah, it's better, but not what's not as many pieces of shit. The fact that she, oh, see, the fact that she even went to, to uh, whoever, whoever did it, chopped up this thing that she loved for eighteen years, and chopped it up and got a little thing and stirring around and that. Like, what was she doing? Like, cut, uh, but it's all. Uh. It's my mum's ringtone. The senders that. <laughs> um, sports and weather. We're gonna go off this. Uh, There's a big talking point. Let us know in the comments. Sports and weather. Sports and weather. Sports and weather. Sports and weather. That was like a pure weird jump. I, I pressed weird. clicky as I was coming in for the point. Um, I think my my fucking man manly manlyhood is so. I'm sure I've got a testicle on top of the penis, <laughs> and I don't know how that happens. I don't really want to. If I rearrange using that, see that feels more relaxed. But I can. I'm not in shot. I nearly, I nearly put it on you there. Please don't. Uh, sports and weather. Uh, <laughs> um, Ronaldo is now working for us, not Cristiano. Ronaldo from 24. Um, down the road. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. I've just seen, there's a guy that does live down there that I've seen in a Real Madrid shirt. Okay. Don't even know if it's 24. Um, he's, he's, been, he's working at... Oh, I'm okay now. He's working for the weather, uh, but just keep an eye on the background because we've got Jeanette doing the reporting for the weather. Who is Jeanette? Um, 28. Uh, uh, but he's in the background getting everything ready and it doesn't quite go with plan. And we've got a new sport. It's called Fat Man Beyond. Falls. <laughs> Fat Man Beyond. You listen to it. It's Kevin Smith. It's called Fat Man Falls from Rail. It's a new sport that's taken over. Uh, it's a different fat man. Not me then. No, you're not fat man. Yeah. Uh, I'm skinny man. Yeah, it's skinny man and fat man. Uh, so we'll do sports. We superhero. <laughs> skinny man, what's your powers? Oh, I can squeeze in small gaps. Yes, and I can, I can. Uh, Make people fall off buildings. I can be a them. human shield. Yeah, I can lay down. <laughs> and be all boom. I like it. And uh, the uh, okay. yeah. That, that is sports and weather, so we'll do the intro to do, but then we'll come back. Okay, okay. Sports! Yeah! Whatever! Fuck you! The weather! Hi, for Chris is heartwarm story where our hearts piss its pants and um <coughs> sh bro shut the fuck up bro ah! well this is obviously because where I live it's the hood so you know, there's gangsters everywhere it's a proper hardcore I mean I'm a bit of a G myself <laughs> where are um, there's more people <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> Even so, so calm and relaxed. Yeah, I've got uh, crackheads. I've got crackheads. I've got scouse crackheads. Um, there's an old, there's an old man that lives up the street. His dog always barks, and he always says the same thing. Oh, it's your uniform because I wear high vis. I've walked past him on my normal clothing, and he goes, "It's your uniform." And I'm like, "I don't have my uniform. What the fuck are you going on about?" His <laughs> dog's literally just, it just barks at everyone, but he keeps going, "It's your uniform." I, uh, I mean, I've witnessed it's uh, not to try and make a joke out of it, but three corpses come out of the house that you know somebody used to live in, in the in the body bags. It's, I'm in the ends. Chris is heartwarming story. Yes. <laughs> Chris is happy time. Okay, well, Dan goes and have a whatever he's doing, whatever he's doing. 
Today's heartwarming story involves Jack. Jack is a five-year-old boy who has just been cured of cancer. He had cancer for when he was a young age. Um, he was always back and forth from the hospital. And he's just been, I can't him. And he's just been given the go-ahead of his all clear. So all the best to Jack and his family on that. So what he did, he wanted to, the hospital he was in helped him a lot. Um, it was a children's hospital. He, like I said, they helped him a lot, helped him, him and his family a lot through it all. So what they did is basically they raised a lot of money for uh, this hospital and basically bought five thousand pounds worth of toys just to donate it to all to the hospital, just for a good cause, just to say thank you for helping out. And <coughs> yeah, so that was basically it. I actually missed all of that. I thought I'd be back. What happened? I'll tell you after. <laughs> So, yeah. Was it good? Was there a happy ending? Yeah, it's a happy ending. So, uh, people being nice, people yeah. being dicks? Yeah, nice. Was it a person, one? One person. One person? Well, family. I'll tell you. Sorry, I was busting for a <laughs> week. I was thinking I should just wait because it seems a bit disrespectful of you trying to big up something nice yeah. that happened. It's all right. But yeah, no. Uh, yeah, you might even mention £5,000 for this hospital just to donate all these toys to the hospital that help him. Let's see what oh, I think I already get the summary there. So, yeah. And that was this week's heartwarming story. And now it's over to him, him, and his weird news, weird endings. Dan's happy ending. That one. <laughs> Adon's happy ending. Fuck off. No. Not you, Chris. I need you to stay. Okay. Well, I just for now, you can... Where's your problem, mate? Do you go ahead, button? Go the head a car. Is that a car or a... Well, she was coming from the radio. No, I'd be a car, you know. So, that car was there when I parked. So it's not that car. The music sounds very aggressive. <laughs> the music sounds very aggressive. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> it does, doesn't it? No. That's angry music. This is fine music. I no, but it's not angry. It's like, um, yeah. like it's it's what it's trying to say. It's not trying to hurt anybody. That for all we know could be what's going on, like, like um, the next nine eleven. Could be. It's probably all about shagging hoes and doing drugs. It could be. That could be all about doing drugs. You know what these gangster rappers are like. You can't then, stereotype people who get with that type of music. That's that's that is like Spanish gangster rap. The fuck it is, mate. Spanish gangster rap. Like I listen to Busted, and it's all about like, baby, I love you, I want you back. I say I fucking hate love songs. I really do. Oh, no, no, so corny. It's like, go away. I miss you by Blink One Eight Two. Everybody loves that song. This is a good song. Exactly. No, but when it comes to like love songs, it's just I nah. Taylor Swift, you're my girl. I don't listen to Taylor Swift. I fucking love Taylor Swift. <laughs> this week's drunk moment though, visuals. Um, it's more the architects for me. And if you don't know who the architects are, Google them. And it, I, there's a lot of screaming, so I do apologise. <laughs> Like Ted Mosby, the architect. <laughs> no screaming and shouting. That's but it. It's good. I like Slipknot and stuff. Duality. Yeah. Iowa. Yeah. I would say System of a Down, but sometimes they're very gentle at the same time as being. They like, do it well, though. They, they, they're not screamo. I wouldn't class them as screamo. They do their fucking. Rah! But then they go. Baby. Yeah. And the toxicity of our city. Oh! Party on the wall! Not like that. Yeah. Nice order! No! Somewhere break me! Not sacred silence! Sacred silence is we as honor. Yeah, true. Do that well. I think he's fucked off. Now, we all have issues of losing our girlfriends on the roof. It happens to me every Wednesday. There's no girlfriends on the roof. Yeah. Every every Wednesday, Margaret gets up there and I can't get her the fuck down. Oh, I don't have issues with that one. 
Oh no, mate. Trust me. When, when you get into a relationship. Uh, that roof's not even straight. Exactly, I keep telling Margaret, it's not straight. It's Wednesday, I'll get on the roof. And then you'll see the whole street. There's women on the roof. Where's your girlfriend down? It's Wednesday. Oh, she's probably up there, is she? All right, Margaret. All right, Stephen. Every Wednesday. <laughs> get down, stupid bloody girl. But yeah, I've got, I've got video evidence, so it's all right. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Margaret was safe in the end. Um, we were together for 18 years, so I decided to eat her. Um, well, that's how logic goes these days, isn't it? We've had it all today, visuals. We've had it all. We've had, we've had, we've had gang shootings on the street. <laughs> said funeral pills, I suppose. What pills? Funeral pills. I thought we said funeral pills. I was like, what the fuck is that? And what do the kids take these days? You got any funeral pills? I don't know what kids take these days. Um, I wouldn't like them. Plant food. Remember when plant food was oh, a thing? Cat food. Cat food? Cat food, I think. Oh, cat litter. Cat litter. Cat litter? Yeah. What the fuck kind of weird drugs do people take in the fucking hillbilly countries? <laughs> cat litter? It was some kind of drug that was called cat litter. Oh, it was just cool. It wasn't actually cat litter. <laughs> fucking hell, mate. See, I, I am not up to speed with... Like, obviously, the main drugs I know of, the cocaines and shit. But see, when they get proper technical and shit, I'm like... like yeah, it's not reading the newspaper. MDMA. Like, I'm like, what the fuck is that? not reading the, on, on Facebook. Three people. Got a hell of house raid in Brown on Friday night. Nah, what, what, what did they get ready for? <clears throat> drugs, money, and cash. No. Drugs, money, and cash? <laughs> <laughs> drugs. If you got money, we've got some cash for you. <laughs> drugs, weapons, and cash. I can either pay you by money or cash. Which do you take? Drugs, weapons, and cash. <laughs> drugs, weapons, and cash. You're not releasing names, but Hidden I'm probably, in a stash. probably know them. See what I mean? What's the end? Drugs, money, and cash. Hidden in my stash. You that. Yeah, I swear to God, he's he's gonna get a quick attack. Got him. I'm gonna go up there. Do you fly attack? I'm gonna, do fly. <laughs> I'm gonna use fly on him. This is a respectable neighbourhood. We have an ASDA, and if you're within a one mile radius of an ASDA, you are a high end citizen. I'm not. Well, there you go. I mean, like a ten mile. Radius? Do you have a co-op? I do in Bratton. And two spas. And a lot of poops. You're, you're a bit fishy then. Co-ops, everyone knows co-ops are a bit, they're a bit that way. Co-ops are posh. Uh, they're a bit, mm. What's a, mm, a lot of co -op. It's a lot good of them, little O's. Uh, that was this week's news visuals. Uh, like I said, though, we've, we've had gang crime. <laughs> we've had... Gang crime. Uh, we have, mate. Gang crime. I heard an, an, a, a, an AR-15. It's an AR-15. I don't know if that's a machine gun or if it's a <laughs> handgun or if it's an AR-15. I don't think it would exist. No, an AR-15 is a real thing. I've, I've heard it and shit. We'll Google it afterwards. We're not going to Google guns. One of these two. No, no, no. You'll get the what word are we getting out? You get the government you don't next. Excuse me, why is your fucking moron of a son Googling guns? Because on the outside, people would think I've got issues. I'm 26, I've got Pokemon everywhere and superheroes. I'm looking at guns. He's definitely going to do something dodgy. I'm, I'm not, I'm just a fucking idiot. You've got knives, but no. We have a sword collection. Yeah, fair enough. Like we could go outside with all of them, but which one do you want to fuck up with? Mine's at home. <laughs> oh, fuck, yeah, you can borrow one of mine, it's alright. <laughs> uh, hold it like backwards and be like, and you'll be like, sorry, mate. Oh, well. um, visuals, thanks so much for watching. This has been this week's edition of the news. Uh, we've had, uh, we've had, we've had our high times, we've had our low times, it's been emotional. Um, and um, what was the, high the high time was uh, uh, the high tide where it washed in all the, the cool news. Okay. Okay. That is so aggressive. <laughs> that is really, really aggressive. You can tell you can all I can hear is R R R. But you did not listen to DMX. Yeah, I love DMX, and he was really angry. Oh, he got it. That's what I'm saying. That's really aggressive. But DMX, like, like that's the same sort of... Dum, dum, dum. DMX... Dun, dun, da, 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 da. Um. See, it falsified you with the beat. It's like, oh my God, DMX. But really, he's going, I'm going, fuck, fuck, fuck. 50 Cent. See, I love 50 Cent, but he sometimes from back, he's like, I got 21 questions, and they all about us. But when he's like, if you say you were gangster, and you never pop nothing, you say you were wankster. 
and then you need to stop fighting. His game was fucking phenomenal because it was so shit. This second game where he goes to fucking Saudi Arabia and he's taking over like drug lords and shit. And it's like, you've exaggerated this so much 50, but I'm having so much fun. It's like him just going on killing loads of people. Because he's big G. He's not though, because he's, uh, he, he went bust. No, apparently that was a bunch of bullshit <laughs> to get out of a woman thing. Because he got brought up again. Out of the end, I don't, not that I actually know, because I don't have 50's life. But apparently he falsified it so that he could get out of some sort of... I don't know what it was, some clause or a thingy. Mm. So he could actually keep all of his money instead of having to split it. Mm. He explained it in an Instagram video and I heard it on a couple of the fucking news things and that. I, yeah, I, but, I, but I'm not him, so I don't know. No. Never am I. But I still love 50. AKA Ferrari F50. Which is what it says in a song. 50, AKA Ferrari F50. Doesn't make sense. I used to love G-Unit. I was the whitest kid ever. I used to walk around school with a Slipknot jumper on. Fucking hooded up in that, listening to 50 Cent, giving it, oh, I'm a white kid, and I'm saying, wah, 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 wah. you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, one of them white kids that have no interaction with any kind of legit gangster stuff. Eminem, then. <laughs> well, no, Eminem's legit, you know, from Detroit, he used to do the, the underground rapping and that. He's a G. I, I went to Games Workshop and painted Lord of the Rings models, listening to 50 Cent. Couldn't be any further away. I mean, I have some, had, not gang stuff. But the, the the ends, I used to hang around in the ends, quote unquote, I'm saying the ends. It wasn't Compton or out, but it was, and then I moved up here and did the same. I was like a weirdo that should never have been in them areas, but I was there in amongst the crowd. I was with all the um, Guibos, with the flared jeans and the skull on them. Yes, the you definitely got milkshakes <laughs> launched again. Yeah. Definitely, you can't be like that. When I first moved to feet, you couldn't be like that in Carlo. <laughs> fuck me. Carlo and I moved up with my long hair and that, and I was like, are you agreeable? And I'm like, what the fuck's agreeable? Because they're called grungers down south. <laughs> I'm like, um... Yeah, I, for whatever reason in my life, when I moved up here, I was the only outsider that was allowed in the groups of like, you know, like the... We would call them townies, but up here you'd probably call them like chavy and... You know, I ain't more shy. I hated chavs. Uh, Why? Well, it, all this Burberry back in the day Burberry this See, Burberry that I agree with you but Chavs has got a big bracket because Chavs is also just a, what we would call a townie somebody that wore a tracksuit and some Nikes you've never seen me in a tracksuit and you never will oh no I, 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 I like a good track like I've got tracky bottoms on now they're just Pokemon no. I like uh, not zip up tracksuits something like this and a nice jumper beautiful like the Jim King stuff is actually quite nice the gym king tracksuits I think I've got gym stuff but that's for the gym if I'm out of the gym not in work it's jeans well you know that with me yes yeah, um, I'm chinos or jean shorts or jeans <laughs> jeans and boots I'm American jeans I'm American. and boots I don't wear trainers often <laughs> uh, I like that I think Vans will always be now my go to sneaker that's my guys for Hollywood. We should end the video. I've got the fuck is going here. The outro has been seven minutes. Seven minutes. Fucking hell, are you I'm still here? Shit. This, I know, we're if just... you are still here, then fair enough. It. Well done. You've just unlocked a thousand of G on Xbox. Get to the end of a Chris... And I actually zoned out that we were recording. I actually zoned out. And I'm like, fuck, right, officials, this has been the news. Thank you so much for watching. We'll let you go on with your day because yeah. you're, you're probably too busy to be listening to whatever the fuck this was. Officials, uh, thanks so much for watching. Give me a give it on. Let me lie.